Hey guys. Sorry I am a couple minutes late here. Um, I'm telling you now, Wednesdays are just crazy days. Um, even more so today. I'm getting ready to take a bunch of stuff, so I'm so thankful for all the parents who help. Um, you know, it takes a village. Um, drop off stuff. I had a bunch of stuff. Um, from cases of pop to water bottles and tea to chocolates and chips and all kinds of assortment of just goodies, granola bars and things that we're going to bring to TJ Middle School to say thank you to our teachers because they are working super hard. Um, and I, I hope that they feel loved. Um, so me and the team of uh, about six moms tomorrow are going to meet at TJ and bring it all uh, into their team rooms and the flex room. So even the, uh, we want the special teachers, all the orchestra teachers, the music teachers, and um, all the specials and the aides even, everybody, all the staff who helps at school, we want to make sure that they know we love them. So I'm working behind me. I have a bunch of stuff spread out because I'm working on multiple things. I'm working on cards that I'm going to put into the rooms. I'm working on my fall card class, which I'll talk about that a little bit more later. And I'm working on, hey, Chris, yeah, you made it. Um, and I've been praying for you, Chris. Hope you're healing quickly and feeling okay. Miss seeing you. Um, but, and I'm also working on, I've got my, some of my downline coming to our big on-stage event. Um, and it's online this year, but I'm having a little watch party. So I'll show you a few little sneak peek things. Yay, Teresa! You made it too, yay! So good when you see people come along. Um, so I don't feel like I'm talking myself. So thank you. So appreciate those of you who come and watch me live. Because then I feel like I'm kind of visiting you. I love it. So. Um, I, I kind of want to jump into stuff because I'm going to try to show you, like I said, how to spice up kind of some of your old things. Um, so again, still um, showing you maybe how getting just a couple new, even just designer paper or just some specialty paper can help you spice up some of your old stamp sets. Um, so I know if you're like me, I've had a really hard time deciding what not to get because I love all the stamp sets and all the bundles um, in in the catalog. So I'm not really per se showing you a new uh, bundle uh, today. I am going to show you a mix, so I hope you don't, I don't overwhelm you. I'm going to show you a mix of things, of using some of my older things from last year, um, even some from this year. But So I'm going to do a lot of show and tell, but I will show you how to make a couple cards in the mix of it too. And then you're going to get a sneak peek of some new things that will be available to you in November. So I'm so excited! Yay! So stick with me. We're going to have a lot of fun today. So let's turn around. And first thing first, my current um, hostess code is still, is still open until the end of October. It would be great to place those orders by October 30th, um, just so on the last day of October I can ask questions. and. That's, you know, October 30th is actually a Friday, so the last day of October is a Saturday, and I can't talk to demo support or anything on Saturday, so I don't really like closing on Saturdays, but, um, so try to get your orders in by Friday. Um, remember that if you order, and some of you have already ordered $50 worth this month, which is awesome, you're already in the drawing, and some of you are already doing an awesome job, too, on um, commenting and liking my all my posts. So when you see a post on this page, if you just comment and click on that like button um, or love or whatever you want to do, <laughs> um, when I see that you have done that on all of my posts for October, you will also get into the drawing. So that's one way without even having to order to get your name in. But you, for every $50 that you order, you'll get your name in um, for that as well. And if you share my all my videos for October, that's another way to get in. So. If you're sharing my videos, and you can go back and share, but I've, I see um, when I go back to the video and you just uh, type in the word share so I can see that you shared. Most of you I am friends with, so I can see when you shared. Um, but if you just type in shared under the, vi the video, I will look and see. And if you've shared all my videos, you will also get your name in. So there's several ways to get your name in the drawing for the biggest drawing I've ever done of winning the new die cutting and embossing machine, which is awesome. It's $120 worth, and I can't wait to draw a winner at the end, either the very end of October or maybe the first of November 
I will share who wins that. And I've gotten back all of my uh, the products, so for Sherry and Kelly and Chris and Sabrina, all of those things are ready. Someone picked a magnetic plate. Someone got a few embossing folders. Uh, someone got a huge stack of paper. So, um, yes, I know, Teresa, some of you are working hard to get in that drawing multiple times. You are doing a good job, Teresa. <laughs> um, you can just go to my website anytime, 24-7. You can be ordering in your pajamas. I love it. The paper sale is going on this month, just for October. This is the hostess code, AUTQJ23X. Um, and like I said, that's good through October 30th. So the paper sale, um, the artistry blooms, tis the season paper, um, forever greenery, poinsettia place, trimming the town plaid, uh, plaid designer series paper, toil tidings, peony garden, whale of a time, heartwarming hugs, magic of the night, snowflakes, splendor, in good taste, playful with patterns, playful pets, designer series. Um, so there are a lot of fun, great. Uh, designer pay packages that are 15% off just for the month of October. So, designer paper, I think I've tried to show you, is an awesome accent um, for your cards as well that makes stamping easy and makes the card easy. Um, let's see if I can get this centered for you. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave this above so you can see the hostess code kind of the whole time. Um, so what do I want to do first? That is a good question. Sorry, but today I've been packing up my um, my van with all the stuff I'm bringing to the school. I am going to show you one of the things, one of the new things from the holiday catalog that I am going to show you. Now, what's interesting, I have been so tempted by this suite, the poinsettia suite. I love it. They're beautiful things in here. Um, but the one thing I did get from this suite was this gorgeous specialty paper. It's got flocking on it, so it's called the po Plush Poinsettia Specialty Paper. Unfortunately, this one isn't on sale, but I'm still showing it to you because it's gorgeous. Um, so don't miss this paper, and I'm going to show you later on how beautiful this is. Uh, Plush Poinsettia Specialty Paper, it's $153,486 for $11, and you get six sheets. Uh, two of each of those des designs. So if you cut them to be the front of a card, you can make six out of each sheet. So that's 36 cards you can put on them. And if you use a little less, then you can make that go even further. Uh, but they're beautiful designs. And I will show them to you. So just got to hang on. Um, but one of the sets that I'm going to show you, um, just show some show and tell as well, is this Christmas gleaming stamp set that matches with the um, the two ornaments, the gleaming ornaments punch pack. So there's two punches you get, and they're decent sized um, ornaments. Let me show you some. And this paper, uh, this was also a returning favorite. The brightly gleaming specialty paper has some copper foil in it. It really is pretty. So here's one with that copper, the gleaming Christmas copper foil already in it. It's gorgeous. Um, you're hanging on? <laughs> um, thanks, Teresa. I appreciate you. This, when you just punch out the ornament with the punch, um, it's fun to just emboss over. So I just use an embossing folder to emboss that ornament. Um, the leaves, there isn't a punch for that, so I did fussy cut that. But how pretty is this with just an embossed background um, and then I just stamped the ornament, um, punching out the ornaments in just designer paper. So even if you don't have this gleaming Christmas uh, specialty paper, any of your special or any of your designer paper will do. So it's pretty to um, just punch out your ornaments in designer paper, and then I just tied a little twine around there. So pretty simple design. Here's using different designer paper. Um, and so then a different color combo. Because so, sometimes I think when you get a designer pack, you, you think you have to stay in those colors. You're getting the paper, ornament paper, yes. Um, so here's using some non-traditional colors, the 
pool party and blushing bride and some reds. Very cute. Um, and then here it is, just repeated stamps, and then I did punch out one, and this is almost a one layer card. Just um, I just punched out the one extra ornament. So you can make some easy, simple cards with this ornament. Um, and again, it's called Christmas Gleaming. And this still is offered as, even though this was offered last year as a bundle, they usually don't do this, but they are still offering this bundle um, as a 10% off bundle. They don't always do that. Usually they start selling them separately. But because they coordinate so well, it's awesome that, that they still have it as a bubble. For, so for 10% off, you get the whole, the stamp set and the two punches for $63, which is awesome. Okay, so those are things in the holiday catalog. Now, a couple things that I'm going to show you that are still in the annual catalog that came back that were old. So, I mean, they're not very old. They were in last year's holiday catalog. One of them is called the Still Scenes. That's 150503 um, for $22 is the stamp set. And then it matches, and it will tell you in the back coordinates with the Snow Globe Scene Dive on page 182. So on the back, this one is not a bundle anymore, but it does match with some really cool dies, which I'll show you. And these dies um, have all these cute little things that you can put in a snow globe, but you don't necessarily need to use the snow globe with it. Um, but it's got the deer, some polar bears, a tree. Um, and I love the, the die that does cut out the snow globe because I'll show you some examples. And, I, I, and then again, I'm going to show you later, I'll show you some new cards. So here's some that I made last year. So here's with some purple and blue. Joy to the world from our little itty bitty Christmas greeting. Here's using that pretty paper. A lot of you guys have this paper still. So, oh, it's such a great background. Um, and here, if you can see, um, these cards you would either need a padded envelope or I've handed them out to people personally if I'm going to see them because this the snow globe shakers. If you can see how thick that is, they're really thick, but oh my goodness, they're so cute. They match right in. Um, in the shape that the die cuts out and you just pop those snow globes in and they're super easy to make because it's sticky on both sides. You just peel it and stick it in there. Um, so I do love the little snow globe things. Here's another one that I made with a snow globe and the purple. And again, use the beautiful, um, is this paper on here? It might be. Maybe it's not. Feels like frost. Um, No, this paper isn't on sale because it's so popular, probably. <laughs> um, so this was, again, the Feels Like Frost paper for the background. And I love that deer. I cut the deer out in some of our uh, glitter paper. And then I actually used my blender pen to color it brown. Um, so it was just clear, sparkly. And I colored the deer in brown. So that kind of makes the deer pop. So I love the dyes that come with this set as well. So again, this is a the stamp set that was in last year's holiday catalog, but it's so cute. And I'm going to show you again how you can reuse and, you know, when you buy just some new things. And again, I'm specifically going to show you that poinsettia, that plush paper, because it's gorgeous, how that can spice up your old stuff. Um, let's see. So with that being said, let's, I'll, I'll show you a couple things. Let me move this. Sorry. Moving things around. Okay. So this paper. Yes, you can color on your glitter paper with our blends markers. They're awesome. Okay, so here is a card that I just made last night. Um, and it looks so ornate, but it's really pretty simple, guys, because this paper is gorgeous. Now, I wish I could let you reach out and touch this. It's so soft. It's like a little velvety flocking. So the, the white design over like a vellum paper, it's just gorgeous, guys. It just makes a beautiful, for a very beautiful and elegant card. So this is over um, Rococo Rose, one of our in colors. 
So this pretty um, misty, or uh, what I don't know how to call it. It's a very pretty pink. Um, and then I embossed the ornament from that gleaming ornament in silver embossing powder. And then I used some of my dyes from uh, the Hippo Happiness um, bundle because they have some great dyes. And just stamped the Christmas cheer right on there. So the only thing I stamped was the ornament, then punched that out, and then stamped Christmas cheer from, again, that's the Itty Bitty Christmas. Um, so that's another... If I can find that one... That's another, I'm using a lot of this Itty Bitty Christmas. So if you've seen that, this is also, I believe, I can't remember if they put this in the holiday catalog or the annual catalog, but the number to the Itty Bitty Christmas is 150-513. And I just really love this because you can add small little sentiments on the front, and then if you have another kind of sentiment stamp set that you can do bigger things on the inside of the card. Um, but this is really cute. I'm going to be showing you this. Um, pretty frequently, but I love the Happy Christmas, uh, Thinking of You at Christmas, um, Have a Sugar Sprinkled Season, Very Merry Believe, Lots of Love at Christmas. There's just so many different fonts, and it's cute little, and it actually, a lot of these smaller ones here fit right in one of our punches, too, so very cool. So I love Itty Bitty Christmas for an additional thing. And you'll see, I think on both, yeah, I use the Christmas cheer. And on this one, I used Peace and Happiness. Now here, I put the flocking right over white paper, so it's just white on white. And then I cut out using my uh, some of my textured dies, so the pieces, uh, so these dies are awesome too. I love them. So here, I'm also showing you how awesome our, our die cutting machine is, because it does, when you get a die cutting and embossing machine, it just does all the work for you, doesn't it guys? I mean, it's just awesome, because look at the stitching in these pieces it's just so beautiful I love it and so I really didn't do a ton of stamping the only thing I stamped on this whole card was the peace and happiness everything else is, was just cut out by a die the deer all the round pieces so it looks so ornate but it didn't really take a whole lot of time to put this together so awesome I don't think I stamped the inside of any of my cards yet here um, so let me I'm going to lower this Sorry for the shaking for a bit. Get you closer to me. All right. So, something that I want to share with you, um, because I have people who tell me, like, you know, I. I will, I, Joe told me I needed to raise my price for what I sell. I typically will sell my cards now for about $4 each, um, just depending, because um, it takes time. And when you go to the uh, at Hallmark or anything, I mean, cards are anywhere from $5.50 to $9, right? And they can even get more expensive than that per card. Um, so I'm going to show you, too, how efficient it is. And sometimes people think, oh, I'm spending all this money on just stamping stuff, but who wouldn't love just a beautiful handmade card like this? It's made by you, so it's therapy for you. And it's, to me, this is so much prettier than anything you could buy in a store. Um, so what I'm going to show you is just a simple pricing of... Um, so most of these cards that I'm showing you have just white or one color of cardstock and then a specialty paper. So if you've got a package of Whisper White, colored cardstock, and I'm rounding all these kind of up for $9, a color of cardstock, a package of rhinestones, so for some extra bling on some of your cards. Um, say you got the pine dies. Um, so I'm, I just put out an example. So, but say you get one set of dies um, to spice up your cards. And then, or the punch duo. So say you like the ornaments. They're around the same size, or same price. If you got the punches, it's 34 If you get a set of dies, they're anywhere from 25 to $35. And then an ink pad. So say you got one color. For these cards, I'm just using the Rococo Rose color. So if you got one ink color, too. And then specialty paper, like what I'm showing you, this specialty uh, poinsettia paper. All of that together to make those cards is around $85. Okay, and I was rounding up. So out of one package of color card stock, you can make about 48 cards. 
but if you've got with the thick whisper or the thick white cardstock, you can make bases out of there too. So you can make anywhere from 48 to 60 or even 70 cards using all of this stuff. Okay. So when you do the math with a, an order that you think, oh my goodness, $85 for my order. But if you're making your Christmas cards and you make anywhere from 48 to 60 cards, that's only a dollar 77 to a dollar 40 that you're spending on each per card, which is so much better than going to the store, right? And it's therapy for you, and it's a hug in the mail to someone else. So I just want to do a little bit of that pricing that it, when you get a stamp set, if you make so many cards out of it, you've already you, you've used your your money well, and you've sent out cards using that stamp set, and you make up that difference then. So I'm going to show you this card, and I've cut, I've already cut out some of the pieces. You guys have shown, I, I've been showing you the new die cutting machine 20. Um, if you don't like just folding your card in half and guessing, you can also use your paper cutter. Um, it is helpful to have a little score line first. It makes the folding of your card way easier, because then you don't have to guess at where the center is. right at four and a quarter there. And if you have a, a bone folder, that is always helpful to make that crease really nice. All right. And yes, I have some Stampin' Up! bone folders, and then I also have some Pamper Chef uh, rubber scrapers, but they're great <laughs> for a bone folder. Um, so I'm going to use, there was a little church, which is also a part of the dies that I showed you in the snow globe dies. Um, it's really cute. I love it. And I'm also going to combine it with um, the new Pines dies that are gorgeous. And I've already done a video on the Pines dies. They're beautiful. Um, and I'm using the specialty paper here, so that plus paper, and it's so soft, guys. I just love how this feels. So you're so good when you just, with, like, you don't need so many colors. It doesn't need to be crazy. So I'm just going to simply put some tape over my or on the back of my specialty paper and I'm going to put it over the white so that's kind of going to be the background and I, I cut it this is a way to use not as much if you like saving I'm going to cover it a little bit with some snowy hills um, now I'm going to show you, do a little sneak peek here before I show you everything. Um, a new bundle that I'm, that you guys are going to be able to purchase in November is called the Quite Curvy uh, Bundle, and it's got some really cute borders for curves, and I'm going to use this for one of our little snowy hills. I'll show you how cute it is. So I'm going to run this through the big shot real quick, this little, um, to make it a little bit like of a snowy hill. Now look how fun this little border is. And it's still got a few of the little holes in there. 
usually I would take my little brush and just brush over the holes there. And then it makes a fun little mess. Crafting mess. Awesome. Okay, so now I've got a little snowy hill and I can tape my little snowy hill over. Um, and I also kind of want to figure out before, and again, I'm just using one color of ink for all of these cards. I only use the Rococo Rose for these. Um, now what's cool about these stamps, I, I know you might be confused. Sometimes I have double stamps on one. Uh, what's cool about these stamps in the curvy sweepstake is you can, uh, especially because they're photopolymer, you can totally bend them to your curve. And it's really cool. You can make it work for wherever that curve is. And this is good enough. I'm not going to change it. But just with this one color, I'm going to put Mayor Daisy, Mary, and Bryce. And then I'm, I'm going to stick to the trees. I might have done that wrong, but we'll see. Let me clean that off. Again, if you guys haven't gotten a sham yet, they're the best thing to clean your sham. They're awesome. All right. So now, just on here, I want to put, I'm going to tape this down and then I'm going to pop up my next one with dimensional so I can stick some of my things behind it. So that one I'm taping over. Isn't that fun? I'm telling you guys. Um, Wednesdays can be kind of draining days for me. My fourth grader, I won't mention any names, but well, you know who he is. <laughs> He's someone that I have to literally sit next to and help him get his work done because he really doesn't like school. And I end up kind of getting frustrated with him at some point in the day. And I tell him that's why I choose not to homeschool. It would be, it just would go really wrong. Um, okay, so, so far I just cut a piece of that, glued that on, I cut my little snowy hill with my big shot, and now more awesome fun that this, your die cutting machine does for you, and I'm keeping this real basic then, so I'm not mixing a whole lot of colors, I'm doing um, pretty much white on white. So I think I'm going to stick... I kind of want this one to be behind that. I'm going to stick just a glue dot on this tree. We'll stick a couple on this one. The glue dots are awesome trying to find little pieces where, and that's okay that it's sticking up, well, it's, it's right to the border. It's just looking so pretty, and I'm telling you, my the die cutting machine does all the work. It really does. Um, and then we can set the church up here and make that church pop up a little bit. And we'll put a little mini dimensional under this one. I think a mini dimensional will fit back here. And I'm just putting one dimensional on there. It'll pop it up. It'll keep, it'll hold it there. Just line it up with the base of that part of the church. And isn't this looking so cute? Really awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. My my nine year old son doesn't have a very long attention span either. So I I do try to give them breaks. Um 
it, it is a challenge sometimes. So, last week my husband was wonderful, and on Thursday, the day after my crazy Wednesday, he had the boys clean up the kitchen for me and while I took a bath. It was amazing. I told my husband that um, we should make that a, a weekly routine, a ritual. The boys didn't really like that idea, but they kind of. Sure. Are you done with your homework? You finished? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Get socks and shoes on. Okay. That's fine. All right. Thank God. My fourth grader is finally done. I did help him quite a bit. And he's going to go on a bike ride. Yay. That's much needed. Okay. So I already have made your days be merry and bright on the hill there. You just pop up the trees and isn't that pretty just a lot of white on white it's so pretty sometimes you don't think about um how pretty that can be but it is it doesn't have to be a ton of colors sometimes um less is more right ladies so i'm just going to put a few dimensionals in the back love dimensional guys they're awesome almost every time i do a demonstrator order i order more dimensionals <laughs> Almost every time. All right. And then just on the Rococo Rose background. And then if you want to add a little extra bling, take my pickup tool and put... Let's see. Again, you'll usually see me do things in three. I like making a little triangle. And isn't that so cute? And you could keep the rhinestones just plain, or you could even color them with your blends. Because remember, the blends markers are alcohol-based. So your blends can color on um, paper, can color on rhinestones, can color on plastic. Um, the blends markers are awesome. So if you had Rococo Rose, you could actually blend in and make that color. So isn't that so pretty? Again, this specialty paper is gorgeous. So, and these were last year's dyes from the snow globe, but again, when you, you're you using new products with it, it just can make it look brand new and feel so much more fun to play with. So, awesome. Do you guys have a favorite? Do you like the deer or the ornament or the church one? They're all pretty in my mind. Um, cause I don't know, maybe you wouldn't have thought of putting it just on white. It, I think it looks really pretty, but it really does look gorgeous on a darker color too, doesn't it? So the specialty paper can be used for all kinds of reasons, but um, I wanted to make a couple more examples, but I'll just show you another way to use it too. Um, I took a piece, so four by five, or four by five and a half. You like the tree and the ornament one? I know, I like them all. <laughs> um, but I used one of my dyes from <clears throat> the textured dyes. I, I should really learn what those are called. And I actually cut it out three times, so I made a little window sheet out of this, so I could still use this on a card. Um, and I'll just stamp and put some things in the center there. And then with the pieces that I cut out, I can also use those and put them in a row, and I was going to use my alphabet dies and just cut out like the word joy or something. So have the letter J O Y um, and have joy. And I've got another set that has to the world, so I could put that. So there's a lot of different fun ways. Like, again, this is a way to like super save and make two cards out of one piece of that specialty paper. If you make a little window sheet and then use those pieces, you can get two cards out of one of those pieces that you would cut for the front of a card. So there's another fun way to just keep stretching your money. Right? We like those ideas. <laughs> um, all right. So those, I think those were the ones. Oh, I wanted to just show you. Again, I did say there's going to be a lot of show and tell. I showed you this when I did my the Hippo Happiness bundle. But here's mixing, mixing and matching a bunch of stuff with... Um, I used the pine dies, and then I used the hippo happiness bundle. I used the snowflake embossing folder, 
and the little snowman um, that's still available too. So cute. So mixing and matching your stuff can be fun. This this snowman season stamp set is still available, and he is just adorable, and it matches with a punch. So don't forget to still break out some of your stamps um, and things. I love the Let It Snow from that snowman season. Stamping on uh, our crumb cake color, or the yeah the crumb cake color is awesome. I love it with trees. Um, this paper is retired, but you can still do a similar thing with the snowman and designer paper. I love using non-traditional colors. I don't know, it makes me happy when, with the pinks and the blues. And, and then you can keep it traditional colors too. So the snowman one is another one that was from last year, but keep buying it because I want to keep being able to play with it. There's, there's so many cute things out there, aren't there? Um, Another thing I wanted to show you too was the in the woods. So if you have the, um, is it in the woods? Something like that, or winter woods. Now I'm forgetting the bundle. Um, but this beautiful evergreen tree is just gorgeous. Um, there's a lot of fun things you can do with this, and there's a background group of uh, trees as well that you can use. Um, so here were some that I made last year. This one you can still do very very similar because we still have this paper because it was so gorgeous. This is returning paper. That feels like cross paper was just, I'm so glad they didn't retire it because I'm still still using it for reasons. Um, and then I did want to brag on a couple things. Um, our artisan design team. If you don't follow our artisan design team, they really are amazing. Um, someday, when I get a blog going and do a better job of keeping up with that, maybe after all my kids are <laughs> in school, someday I'll try out for the artisan design team. I would love to be an artisan. It would be awesome. But we have like 12 to 15 artisans, and Emma Goddard is, is one that inspires me to craft. And uh, I, I mixed up a little bit what she did. She used all watercolor paper on her trees. But I wanted to show you guys with these in the pine dyes. Um, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but I used watercolor paper for one of the trees. And then the two in the background there are actually our rainbow glitter paper. And because we have rainbow glitter paper, you can do it in all different colors. So again, in this one, I have two of them that are watercolored, and I watercolored over the watercolor paper after I cut out the tree. And then this sparkly one is out of our rainbow glitter paper. Let me just show you how gorgeous the glitter paper is. Now this is in the annual catalog, and it's so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? And it comes and it matches with one of our flower stand sets, Artisan Blooms or something like that. Um, so it's really beautiful sparkly paper. And I'll tell you too, our new glitter paper, um, our old paper a few, few years ago used to like really, if, if I would turn this upside down and pound on it, it would be, there would be sprinkles everywhere. Uh, this new gl glitter paper has the same shine to it, but it does not, uh, get all over you. You don't feel sparkly and it's not everywhere. Um, so isn't this so pretty? So I used this glitter paper to cut out some of my trees for this card. Um, here is another example with the glitter paper punched out with the whale punch. So it doesn't have to be flowers and it doesn't have to be Christmas trees. It can be so many different things. It could be fish and turtles and this is a whale punch. So there's so many different fun ways to use our that rainbow glitter paper too. So I wanted to show you that. Um, and just to give you a brief, I'm not going to show you how I made these cards. Um, if you follow Emma, Emma Goddard, I think uh, her website is called Coastal Crafter, um, or her blog. And if you look her up, she shows you how to watercolor the trees and everything, and it's just so much fun. But I also just used, now we've got multiple dyes that do little snowy hills, but I just took one piece of paper and I just did a little wave in there, and I used these a um, couple different patterns first on my white paper and I just went back and forth with the different patterns and I used my sponge daughter and I sponged over the edge to get those hill looking things. So that was just sponging over this. Yeah, you see the snowflake sequins? Aren't they so cute? 
Yes, Teresa, you're getting ahead of me. I will show this. <laughs> um, so I sponged over these little, you know, I just made kind of a mat for uh, sponging the hills right on white. Um, and then before I put down the trees, I also used our glitter emb embossing paste and just smooshed that over. So it, can you see how sparkly the snow looks? That is that um, our embossing paste, and it's, there's a shimmery one. So there's plain white embossing paste, and there's a shimmery one. The shimmery one is perfect to just smoosh over your snow. So which one do you guys? I know I love them. I love them all. Which colors do you like the best? The red, orange, and yellow? Or do you like the green, blue? Or the purples and the pinks? And Christmas here. And again, a lot of these. And you can see I mixed them up a little bit. Here I used the Itty Bitty Christmas. And I just put, put three trees on. And I'll show you the adhesive back snowflakes. These are so pretty, guys. Uh, again, some of these things you lose in the in the holiday catalog. These are in our holiday catalog, and some of them, one piece kind of sparkles the pink, um, kind of pinks and purples, and then one sheet sparkles more the green and blue. So you can really mix and match them with your colors, which is so fun. So I use these cute little, and they already have a little glue on them, so you just can pick them up with a piercing tool or your pickup tool and plop them down on your card. And um, they're just adorable. They, don't they just add just a little bit? So they're easy. They stick right on there. Um, this Marion Bright uh, is from a different stamp set, too. I know, the little snowflakes, aren't they gorgeous? They're so fun. You like the green blues? Yeah, I thought they, turned, they all turned out well. So pretty. So you can do them in any color you want with that rainbow glitter paper and then when you water your water I, I did want to show these two three because I know I saw you just got the watercolor paper the watercolor paper is so pretty um, I will do another little show you how to watercolor stuff at some point um, I'm not sure what stand set I'll do that with um, but I love playing with our watercolor paper it's awesome so I did want to show you that with our dyes um, that match with the in the pine um, those dies are just amazing. I really love this in the pine stamp set and the dies. They're awesome. So, again, I can't brag enough about our um, our embossing machine. It's awesome. Now, I did want to bring back also another older stamp set, um, or I guess two. One from the annual catalog. So if you got this Forever Fern, and I know a lot of you have this one already because it's so versatile, it's beautiful. Um, you can make cards for any season with these greenery and, and stamp them in any color, and they're just gorgeous. Um, in fact, I knew I had just pulled these down from my, my row, but... So in pinks and greens, here again, watercolor paper. I watercolored some of the dyes <clears throat> in vellum, cut out in vellum. You mix and match them with some of our specialty gold paper. Mix and match with some of our other punches. I know some of you have that specialty gold paper too. It's awesome. So this, the Forever Fern um, stamp set is awesome too. And what I'm going to mix it today with is the country home. Do any of you guys have this country? Thank you, Chris, for all the love. I know there's so many things to show you. I, I, sometimes it's overwhelming for me to think of what to show you. But I wanted to bring back, because I think sometimes we get so consumed with everything in the new catalog. I want to bring this stamp set back because it's gorgeous. I love the font. So grateful for, for someone like you in my life. Um, the, the little things, uh, flowers that you can put right in the top of these either the old-fashioned kind of canister look they're so cute um, so again showing you some old with new um, this is paper from our that tasteful textures or whatever um, <clears throat> suite that has awesome paper and this is some of the paper Ta -da! I did use some paper that's on sale in good taste yes oh my goodness guys if you don't have this paper pack from In Good Taste. It's awesome. One five two four nine four, and it's on sale for seventeen eighty five. 
And this is 24 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. And it's awesome because it's got wood grain, it's got tile looking, it's almost uh, photographic looking. Um, this will kind of like paint splotches. But now, hmm. No, that's too busy. I almost changed my mind, but I'm going to keep it with the pink splotches. So I'm going to just tape down my designer paper. So again, showing you how designer paper can add so much beautiful texture to your cards for all at once and quickly. <clears throat> and put that down. And then I already embossed using our the tile embossing folder because that looks awesome with this stamp set. And I'm going to put that in the middle. And I think I still will use this adhesive, our new sale, or seal, not sale, our seal, stamp and seal, and then our seal plus are pretty. In fact, this is just a stamp and seal because I'm stamping or taping down something embossed. I'm going to use my thicker stamp and seal plus. <clears throat> I don't think you can tell, but the Stampin' Seal Plus is way stickier than the Stampin' Seal. Now, both of them are sticky, but the Stampin' Seal Plus um, actually has little rectangles of the adhesive that come out on there. So the Stampin' Seal Plus is something you can use with even putting boxes and stuff together. So I'm going to take that down. And so this is where, if you don't get that plus foot, uh, points out a specialty paper that I was showing you with these cards. Like if you're thinking, oh, I can't get that. Um, embossing over this vellum paper gives almost a similar look, except it's not as soft and fun as the fuzzy flocking on that paper. Um, but still a similar look. So um, let me bring over what else I need for this. I already did stamp the canister. So I'm going to show you two. Because there isn't a punch with this stamp set, but I'm going to show you that it doesn't take a whole lot of work um, to just cut around the edge of this. It's fairly, and I mean, I know the handles are a little bit curvy, but um, I don't know why over the years, I used to kind of hate fussy cutting, but um, if you guys don't have this specific, these little paper snips. Oh my goodness, these paper snips are from Stampin' Up! and they are amazing. Um, I love these little fine scissors because they're great for cutting around um, and doing fussy cutting. And for me, like I said in the last couple years, I feel like it's actually kind of satisfying for me <laughs> to fussy cut. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because we do have so many dyes, I don't have to fussy cut too much. But Okay, so this I'm just cutting out the canister, and I'm going to color it in uh, gray granite. So, first I'm starting with the light, and this can be really sloppy, actually. You don't have to, you can color like a second grader when you first coat, coat it, because I'm not doing any shading. Now I just want to get my whole canister covered in the light then that kind of helps everything start to blend. So I'm actually going to come back with my light. Now I'm going to do some blending with my the dark. So I'm going to go just in one corner over here. Let's see. Under the handle and down this way. I'm going to do this whole border here. And we'll come down under the top of the lid here, too. I don't know. So, so some of it is a little bit artistic. You're thinking of where would there be some shadow and stuff. But some of it is just have fun coloring. <laughs> now I'm going back in with my light, and I'm blending kind of over where I just shaded. I'm going to go a little bit further that way. And again, I'm just doing over my light. So coloring again over your first layer of light is still going to be a little bit darker. And I maybe went a little crazy with that, but that's right. And then it's fun because you have a little bit of shadowing 
it looks like a rustic old tin can, which is so fun. Now, I've already stamped and cut out with, with the Forever Greenery. Um, I'm going to make these a little shorter. I'm going to trim those so I can get two pieces out of one. All these little pieces come from that Forever Greenery sweep um, and the stamp set. So I'm doing some purples and some burgundy here that I'm just going to have sticking out of my canister. So I think what I should do first I just reminded myself of Andy from The Office. If any of you watch The Office. But he always makes silly. I'm going to put this over to the side, the little canister. And then, because I love my dimensionals, I'm going to do this. I'm putting this one, this one, I, I was using like just a strip scrap piece of the Purple Posy cardstock and it didn't stamp all the way which is okay because I'll just end up covering all of that so I'm going to put that there first then we'll put this one in here that covers up the weirdness of that cut off piece um, where'd I put my glue dots here we go Put a little glue dot on these. Chris and Teresa, you guys have the, you have this whole for, forever greenery suite, right? <clears throat> I think you got, both do. I'm telling you, these, the forever greenery, these dyes are just amazing. If you have time one day, uh, I mean, what I did was, I took a bunch of different colors and I just cut out, I just rolled them through like all the dyes and I'm starting to run out and need to do it again. But I just cut out a bunch of the, the dyes because you don't need to stamp a lot of them. So the ones that you don't need to stamp, I just cut out a bunch of them in different colors and because they're, they just make such a great accent. Um, then when I have it, they're just ready to go and I'm like, oh, I have some of those in the color I need. There, how fun is that? A little can. So adding that forever greenery coming out of that can is a way to spice up an old stamp set that is so cute and I love. And um, I'm going to stamp that uh, so grateful for someone like you in my life. <clears throat> well, Teresa, you know, deep down, sales is not why I do this. I do this because I love to inspire you guys to create. But... Um, sales is part of it. <laughs> so when I'm showing you these things, I understand it might be something new that you don't have that you want. So I'm sorry, but not sorry, right? <laughs> um, okay, so this was, I love this color. If you guys don't have Mary Malo, it's a beautiful burgundy color. And I'm stamping that in the burgundy color that I added, those little extra things. And again, um, these, these guys, what are these guys called? I keep, oh, Tasteful Label Dyes. That's what I've been using a lot of these dyes. For a lot of the examples, I use um, the Tasteful Label Dyes. And that is in that whole In Good Taste suite. Um, I love that whole suite. Um, I use these dyes a lot. So I'm going to use this tape to cut that out real quick. Tell me... What is one of your favorite holiday things so far that you guys have played with? Favorite holiday stamp set or anything? Oh, I was going to tell you guys. Oh, still scenes, yes. You do like that one. It is a beautiful one. 
Do you have that one, Teresa? Do you have this still theme? It is a really pretty one. Again, because I love dimensionals, I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Oh, Teresa, I wanted to mention, well, I wanted to say to all of you guys, it was kind of funny because I did not, I, I know my son doesn't watch, he doesn't even have a Facebook account, I don't think, and he doesn't watch my videos, ever. Um, but it's funny because last week I, I talked to you guys about my favorite uh, fall drink is the waffle. And uh, Jacob, it was just like two days after my video, he's like, Mom, when are you going to the grocery store? And he's like, could you make waffle? So it's one of my boys' favorite. Jacob loves it, too. Um, they love that cinnamony hot cider drink. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> and then again, if we want to add a little bling, because who doesn't like a little bling on their card? Of course, I'm going to add one right on there, and I'll put a couple down here. Let's see, let's see the one too. And again, when you have blender pen, let's see. I know it's got purple pages. add some purple on, purple on my rhinestone. And voila! You're close, Teresa, in how to spell that. Wassail. I think it's W-A-S-S-A-I-L. Wassail. It looks like Wassail. Um, <coughs> But it's so good. So I get a whole, and at Strack and Van Til, I was getting flowers for my mom because she just had surgery on her eye, and she's doing well. But I got, me and Sam picked out a rainbow of colors of flowers for her. And I saw apple cider was on sale for, it was only like four, $4 or something uh, for a whole gallon of apple cider, and usually more than that. So I got a gallon gallon of apple cider and I'll dump in the whole gallon and then a couple cups of orange juice and then you can put some cinnamon sticks in or even add a little bit of cinnamon in there and heat it up in a big pot um, and you can either have like a big drawing spoon or something and put it into mugs but the boys and I love wassail it's a wonderful fall drink so um well there you go that is country home Okay, so I hope that I inspired you to dig out some of your older stamp sets. Uh, don't let those sit. You know, this is kind of like shopping. If, you know, I don't shop very often for clothes, but um, I love to buy, when I do go shopping, um, I love to get a lot of, like, tank tops or layers um, or a new cardigan or something that I can mix and match with stuff I already have. And so that's, that's how I feel about some of my older stamps is just get, getting something new and mixing and matching new with old helps me, helps it feel like, oh, it's a new stamp set again. <laughs> so I hope that inspired you to dig out some of your older ones. The still themes is gorgeous. If you don't have this plus specialty paper, it really is a, a beautiful paper to have. Um, I would get at least one package of it because I don't think it's going to be around um, next year because they always come out with something different and new. But it's so gorgeous. I love it. So, um, oh, I did, I wasn't going to, I'm not going to show you any more cards to actually demonstrate, but um, I did not bring out, oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous, guys, the quite curvy bundle. There's actually two stamps that match these guys. So there's one that has these cute little birds. Are they adorable? I love birds. I don't know why I love birds so much, but... Um, so it's, this one has a little bit more springy look and summery. I love all the little sentiments. Hello, made, made with love just for you. Hooray for you. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Thinking of you makes my day. You're one in a million. Great positive messages that anybody wants to hear. And then, ooh la la, a curvy Christmas stamp set just for fun um, to do Christmas cards with. So awesome. Love it. 
And then all the fun dyes, there's three different curvy. I showed you the one just with the little dots. Um, there's dyes that cut out the little birds. Um, the little birds, there's a little um, greenery thing, cut out the flowers. So there's some really cute things with this. Um, now, this is the tease, because I'm just giving you a sneak peek of the quite curvy bundle, but this will be available for you in November, which is just around the corner. I know, Teresa, you're thinking, what? One more thing I want? <laughs> um, and after I show you some of these cards, yes, I think you're going to want it. So this was the card that I think I was venting online and I think I posted it in this group, too, that it took me, like, over two and a half hours to make the one card. Because on Saturdays, when everybody's here, I was explaining, this is why. I know, dang it, right? Hey, <laughs> Teresa, you want another? Um, it's just so pretty. I love it. Um, but this is why I was explaining that, you know, 10 o'clock till 2 in the morning is really my best creative time. I was up again. Usually I'm up that late till 1 or 2 in the morning before my live video day because when else am I going to get this kind of stuff done? So here's one idea, too, with that specialty paper that I just showed you with those other cards over the gray, and I split it and used both pieces, um, so you're using a little bit less than a piece that would cover the, the front of a card. And then I added the ornaments there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness, I thought that turned out so pretty. Um, here's a springy-looking one with just an added border of the magenta madness, so that pretty bright pink color. and But a pretty simple pattern. I think this I, this one I also posted, and I was inspired by one of the artisans, too. Here is a fall one. Isn't this so pretty? So using that, that gilded autumn paper um, that has the foil on there as well, and I used watercolor paper, and I colored in the leaves in different fallish colors. So I used Cajun Craze, um, a little bit of green, some, I think, Mango Melody in there um, to kind of add the yellowish green in there. Made with love just for you. And I cut out, cut out a little frame. Thank you, Greg. Um, and embossed the frame. And I know, wow, isn't it beautiful? Because one of the borders actually just cuts out, um, so it doesn't cut a border, it, it actually just cuts out those little leaves. So I actually put a little border of paper on the inside of the card as well to match. Isn't that fun? And then you see the little foil still through um, all the leaves that I've cut out the border. And then um, because I actually trimmed this a little bit shorter, then I think it goes all the way to the length of the card. I trimmed off those leaves. I add those in the center of my card. And then I also just stamped off. I used a little sticky note and stamped the wishing you happiest. And then I used another sticky note, I think, on this side to finish off a birthday because it does go the whole long way. And then I added a few of those little leaves um, that I cut out of my card and colored them and put them just over in this corner, too. I think that was because when I put this frame down in this corner, the dimensional, or the, yeah, the dimensional was sticking through one of the leaf holes. So again, there's a way to always cover up everything. I just added a few leaves there. And you think, oh, that's so creative. Well, I was just covering up where it was sticky. <laughs> so so uh, beautiful uh, fall, spring, winter, summer. You can do all occasions with this curvy bundle. It's so beautiful. Um, so again, that will be available in November. Um, and then one of the advantages, if you are thinking about joining my team, I love foiling my team. I love being together with my team. We have a great family um, in Stampin' Up. Um, so when you join my team, you're just saying you want a discount. You like the product enough. You'd love a discount. You don't have to sell stuff. You can just uh, get it for yourself and use the discount. But perks of being um, on my team are, like for the on-stage events, uh, different events you can only do if you're a demonstrator. And again, you don't have to be selling. You just have to love the product. And all of my downline love the product. And some of them are just hobby demonstrators who love the discount. But at, when they come to my watch party, everyone's going to get, and maybe they'll hear this too, but, oh, wait, Chris. Well, you're not coming to that. Um, 
the, all the people who come to my end stage are getting a reusable Stampin' Up! bag, and I gave them a free thing, a package of cardstock for just signing up to gum, and I'm going to give them a few other little goodies in their bag. Um, but another perk, too, that we got to do was order, pre-order new stuff that's not going to come out till the occasions catalog. And so this is going to be product in November that will, in November, all the demonstrators, um, they will show us the new occasions catalog. And if you love dragonflies and hated to see the other one retire, if you didn't grab it, there's a double dragonfly punch now. We had some dives previously. A punch, dragonfly garden, um, some, I think that's mossy meadow twine. And they're going to show this to us at our on-stage event and show us different ways to, to use this whole sleeve, but oh my goodness, aren't these so cute? These little ladybugs. Can you see these little ladybugs? They're so adorable. So fun little la ladybug accent. And, uh, and then, what's this paper called? Dandy, Dandy Garden Paper. That has some... Now, I don't know... Do you guys know this, that when you get your designer paper, it will say on the back where it says the name of your designer paper. Underneath, it will tell you all the colors that match with the designer paper. So this designer paper says Basic Black, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Whisper Light. Um, so when you get a package of designer paper, you can always check to make sure you've got at least one or two of those colors of ink or cardstock. So double-sided designer paper with different designs. I like dragonflies. They're fun. So, these seem a little bit busy to me, busy patterns, but there's bees and stripes. So, I'm excited for Stampin' Up! to show us some fun ways to use all of this pretty paper. Dandelions, so fun. So I was able to pre-order that and we'll be looking at how to use it. So, recap. I showed you a lot of stuff. I hope it wasn't overwhelming. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. And, um, again, if you don't have that plus um, poinsettia specialty paper with that blocking on it, it's so pretty. I highly recommend it. It's just so gorgeous and adds a lot of class your card without you doing a whole lot um and bring out your old stuff october this this month is the last month for the paper sale so all the different papers that i shared at the beginning 15 percent off right now and you just can't go wrong with paper so um at least get one of those packages and with the 50 dollars order you get thrown into a drawing to win the new die cutting and embossing machine from me so it's a hundred and twenty dollar value um i wish i could give one to all of you who order but it's my biggest drawing ever i'm so excited to give that away to someone so <laughs> your pocketbook i love that teresa um you know yeah when i keep buying more stuff i think ah who needs to i don't need any more clothes for myself i'll just i would much rather stamp than go shopping for myself so <laughs> Um, and you just have to think, too, that this hobby and what you're spending is also bringing hugs to other people. So it's a hobby that also gives back. Um, that's what I love about this, um, this bundle or this hobby. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see all of you. Chris, Sherry, Teresa, thank you guys who joined me live. Um, and thank you for those of you who checked me later. Uh, comment. Um, like my video if you share it too there are multiple ways to get in that drawing um, so if you comment and click on like or the heart um, on all my posts for October you'll also get in the drawing and then if you share each of my videos just for the month of October you'll also get in the drawing and then ooh, last thing don't leave um, for those of you who shared just this week's le uh, lesson 
I guess I do teach a little bit, so it could be lessons. This week's live video, you'll get in a drawing to win these blue adhesive back gems, which are also gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love them. Um, so I will choose one person out of all the people who share my video to win these adhesive, um, the blue adhesive back gems. They're really pretty. Extra little accents for cards. So thank you so much for sharing my videos. I appreciate you guys just getting the word out. Um, I This is a way, and I am trying to grow my business, so thank you for sharing. Um, my last son, boy number four, will be going to school next year, and so I definitely would love to be growing uh, new customers and do some new and fun things and take care of my, my team better, and so I've got a lot of goals for myself in the next few years. Um, so thank you for sharing and spreading the word. Um, I hope that any of you come to my classes feel spoiled. Oh, I keep forgetting things. Is what I want to show you. Um, yeah. First of all, I have one spot left. One spot left for um, my fall class. So Sherry even... If you want to come to my fall card class, you make six cards for $15. Um, and Sherry, if you wanted to come, you could take my last spot and um, pick up your three embossing folders that you won. These are beautiful, classic um, colors and fall cards. Easy to put together, but really pretty. Anyone would like. Um, so I have one spot left, um, I believe. Maybe two. And... Drum roll. In November, I'm going to do a Christmas class, and I was already planning, and I've been prepping for that. So you're going to see a real quick um, show of my Christmas cards. You'll get two different colors using the in pines. A lot of it is the in pines here on, um, on craft, or the crumb cake color. And you'll actually get to use the curvy, I mean, isn't that so cute? You'll get to use that curvy bundle. So that will be my, um, there'll be three of the four, I think I'm going to do four designs because everybody likes making more Christmas cards, I think. Um, so I think I'll probably do eight cards for $20 for my Christmas class. So that'll be coming up in November, so just a little perk and sneak peek of what my Christmas class will be. I still have to figure out just what times in November I'm going to be open, but because November, I know holidays get busy, but, um... I, I will be doing that in November to have a Christmas card class. And so this, consider this too. Um, like for my fall card class, I'm doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one for people, and I, I'm wearing masks with some of them. Um, some are just you and a friend, so it's just two people and me, so we're keeping it pretty small. I'll probably still do that for my Christmas card classes, but do think of bringing a friend. I am so willing to wear a mask if everybody wants to feel safer wearing masks. Um, I know this is a weird year, but I really believe... It's more fun to stamp with friends, um, so I still want to do these classes. Um, I may try to offer this um, and these pieces of stuff as um, an online class, but then you'd have to have the pines and the curvy um, stamp sets. And that's the bonus of coming to my classes, is you don't need to have all the ink, all the stamp sets, all the dyes. You come and use my stuff. Um, and then I clean up after you. So my, my classes, I really think, are a steal. And I hope you do, too, when you come that you feel spoiled. And I will probably offer for, like, five extra dollars in November um, everyone to get a package so you can go home because all of these cards, if you notice, will use these Christmas gems somewhere on the card, on the top of the tree. Then if you add the extra five dollars, and you're getting a discount on that then. Um, I know, Teresa, you tried to bring friends. You did. Thank you those, to those of you who tried to invite friends. I so appreciate it. I know you're trying. <laughs> um, so I'll leave that as an extra option. And um, if you order in November and you come to my class, um, I'll probably just throw those rhinestones in for free and give you it for $20 instead of $25 the class. So that will be a November class coming up. And now I think I've shown you everything that you need to see. So share my video. You'll get a drawing to win these rhinestones. Um, order this month at least $50 worth, and you'll get in the drawing to win that new die-cutting machine. And thank you guys so much for visiting me. I love you all. 
have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. I'm going to go make some whistle um, for my son who's working with his dad, um, working hard today. And we're going to do an easy dinner of, I think, chicken nuggets tonight. <laughs> I've made a lot of, we made chicken enchiladas uh, yesterday for my family, and that's a lot of work. Um, so today is a busy day. We're doing chicken nuggets. Awesome. And tater tots, I think. <laughs> and maybe some salad. I think we'll do some kind of green. But we'll talk to you later, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.